Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. I uh, really appreciate you guys joining us for today's video. Not just another edition of Intuitive Angling. This is the first uh, video of 2024. So um, welcome everybody. Much appreciated you guys following the channel over the past year and look forward to having you guys with us uh, all the, throughout the coming season here. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the uh, five best lures for January fishing that nobody uses. Um, you're gonna be delayed, deluged over the next week or so by YouTubers saying the best lures for January, and it's pretty much predictable. They're gonna tell you a jerk bait, they're gonna tell you a little swim bait, they're gonna tell you a spoon, they're gonna tell you an A-rig, maybe a flat-sided crankbait, something like that. You're gonna hear it regurgitated over and over again from every, every YouTuber out there. So today, guys, I'm gonna give you five lures that I catch fish on in January that are sort of off the radar here. So we're gonna get into that in today's episode. Also guys, starting out the year, if you guys are interested for 2024 and becoming a channel member of Intuitive Angling, channel members get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public and some access to my personal email address. And if you're interested, just go to my YouTube, my Intuitive Angling homepage and click on the little join button you see down there and it gives you all the information that, so much appreciated. Okay guys, January, um, I'll tell you one thing about it is there's a lot more uh, diversity in January than a lot of people give it credit to, uh, credit to. Most people think in terms of January as being the fish are dormant and there's just a handful of lures work out there. But guys, I'm telling you what, with the lot that we've had such warm winters over the sort of become a norm anymore over the past five or six years, that it opens up a lot of different techniques that normally don't work. I mean, Right now here in Missouri, a lot of our lakes are still close to 50 degree water temperature in the in January, which is, you know, eight, seven, eight degrees above normal for the most part, which opens up some different techniques. So we're gonna get into that today's video. So if you wanna if you wanna get away from the same stuff everybody talks about, the jerk baits and the little swim baits and the A rigs and all that type of stuff, I'm gonna show you some stuff you can catch them on. First of all, guys, in the wintertime, big spinner bait can be excellent. I'm talking about a three quarter ounce or one ounce spinner bait with like a number seven willow leaf blade. Now you can slow roll these things in the same type of water that you're fishing the jerk baits and the A-rigs. It's gonna work a little bit better if you got a little bit of stain to the water. I'm not talking about dirty water, but I like this for wintertime fishing if you have that water visibility sort of in that you know, two and a half to three and a half foot range. This works pretty good. Basically just throw it the same place as you throw a jerk bait or an A-rig. Your secondary points um, along channel banks, slow rolling into ditches, that type of stuff. You can, the thing about a big spinner bait like this, guys, with a big blade, is you can fish it very slow and um, you're not gonna get a lot of bites on it because they do prefer smaller baits in the wintertime a lot, but when you do get bit on it, it can be a really good fish. And this works really well, guys, if you have a lake that's got some grass in it. So all you guys that have the lakes that has this some type of submergent hydrilla or milfoil, big spinner bait can be really good in the wintertime, even in the dead of winter. Next thing, guys, that works really good is any type of a crawdad crankbait. This is that Megabass Z3 crankbait, but you know, any crawdad crankbait, like a wiggle wart, whatever your favorite crankbait is, if there's any shallow fish to be caught in January, and there normally is, if you got water temperature over 45 degrees, it, I was catching fish in 45 degree uh, water all winter last year on crawdad crankbaits, but this is a lure that doesn't get a lot of attention for January lure and it can be highly productive. One of the, the suggestion I'll give with it, put a little suspend strip on the bottom, fish it on eight pound line, fish it slow, rocky banks, rip wrap, that type of stuff is really good. And also guys, I'll put my Tackle Warehouse links in the description to every one of these lures I'm talking about. If you guys wanna use that link and get you some, it's a good way to help out here. So Mega Bass SV3, Wiggle Wart, something like that. Next one guys, is that Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Guys, this Dark Sleeper is an outstanding winter lure. Now it comes in three different lengths. This is the big one, the three and a half. It comes in a two and a half and a three inch size. Actually, I prefer uh, whichever one works best where you're fishing at. If you're fishing a lake that has a lot of largemouth in it, the larger size like this is gonna work good. If you got more spotted bass, the smallmouth, the smaller sizes. But these Dark Sleepers, guys, all you have to do Fish it just like a jig. Throw it out there on your points, on your bluff banks, on your steep rocky banks. 
throw it out there, let it hit the bottom. The thing's gonna wiggle down like this and just hop it off the bottom like that. You don't reel it like a swim bait. It's keel weighted on the, on the bottom here. So it's designed to scoot along the bottom like a football head jig. But you can either drag it like that, like a football head jig, but I prefer to hop it off the bottom. Just the same way as how fish and jig, there's no difference. And this can be a really good lure in January. Next one, guys, is a big deep diving crankbait. Now this is the Mega Bass Deep Six, or you can use something like a DD22, Strike King 6XD. Guys, a big, large deep diving crankbait is one of the most overlooked wintertime lures that you can fish out there. There is a ton of fish that get caught on these big crankbaits in the middle of the winter, cranking them on main lake points. Guys putting them on like 10 pound test line, again, weighting the belly to where it doesn't float up, where it's got neutral buoyancy, and just covering water, you know, in that anywhere between that five to 15 foot, foot zone there. In the winter time, you've got two populations of fish. We talk about this a lot. Some of the fish are gonna be living on the bottom on those points, and some of them are gonna be suspended out on the ends of those points, depending upon your water clarity, and that big deep diving crankbait are gonna get those ones that live on the bottom. And finally, guys, another crankbait, the last one, is a little quarter ounce uh, lure Jensen speed trap. Guys, this is one of my top winter lures. You wouldn't think it, guys, because it only runs about three or four feet deep, but if you got the right situations, this little speed trap is deadly. If you have a lake that has a little bit more stained water than what people associate with winter fishing, say for example, if you got a lake that's got maybe two foot of visibility in it and the water, and the water temperatures are in their 40s and low 50s, if you got that off-colored water and cold water and rock, like riprap, rocky banks or something, guys, this little speed trap will catch them in cold water. There's just something about it. It's got sort of a subtle little action on there. It's got a tight wobble. And there's something about the profile and the size of it in the shad pattern, guys. You want to get the shad pattern that I've caught a ton of cold water fish in. It's one of my favorite cold water crankbaits out there. So anyway, guys, you're going to get deluged by the dudes the next couple of days. They're going to tell you jerk bait, they rig, little swim bait, which they work. I'm not saying they don't, but those are five that I'm giving you that not, not many people see or fish out there that work really good. Big spinner bait, guys. Big deep diving crankbait crawdad crankbait shad speed trap and the uh, mega bass dark sleeper so anyway i'll put the links in the description for that uh, much appreciated and hope you guys uh, catch a bunch over the coming year here so we'll talk later